Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny has been released after being detained by police amid protests calling for a presidential election boycott. The detention was seen as another crackdown by Russian authorities to try and silence President Putin's most vocal critic. Noah Adam reports. Navalny appeared at a rally on Sunday to urge voters to boycott what he said would be a rigged presidential election in March. He was then dragged feet first by police into a patrol van sparking chaotic scenes. In a tweet soon after he was detained, Navalny encouraged his supporters to join the nationwide protests which Russian authorities said were illegal. He has since been freed without charge but his lawyer says he will have to appear in court at a later date and may then face charges. That may include illegally organizing a protest which could see him face 30 days behind bars if found guilty. Earlier on Sunday, police raided the opposition leader's campaign headquarters in Moscow in what they said was a response to a bomb threat. It came as the office was broadcasting a YouTube video to cover the rallies which have not been mentioned by Russian state media. Eight staff members were said to have been detained with computers and cameras also being seized. The election is expected to be comfortably won by Putin and Navalny has been barred from running. But the Kremlin seems to be wary of Navalny's ability to use social media to mobilize crowds of mostly young protesters in major cities. However, the number of participants who showed up at Sunday's protests was said to be lower than previous demonstrations Navalny had staged, indicating that momentum may have shifted away from him. Noadam, Adirang News.